we woke up, my mom and my grandma are gone. So now we're gonna have to have breakfast by ourselves. My face feels absolutely raw. I think the wind, I might have winded it or whatever you call it, chapped it. My whole face, like from the cheeks down, is just very like coarse. And then every time you apply like a cream on it, it just stings. So I put the moisturizer on, moisturizer on it. It smells like rainbows and sh sunshines now. My whole face is just raw, it hurts. But I'll tough it out, whatever. Um, we're just getting some, uh, well my sister's get, getting through some books. We're gonna give them to the library. There's some interesting uh, additions here. There's the one book here. It's from the Marshal of S the Soviet Union. I'll show you guys. Hopefully that's gonna be flipped in the video, but it says Marshal of the Soviet Union. It's Zhukov. I don't know if that's actually the Marshal of the Soviet Union, but there's some history in this book shelf. We're all gonna give it away to the library who probably need need it more than my grandma. She's not gonna read those books. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have breakfast and I'll see you guys at the table. So here's the other challenge. Now we have to make our own breakfast. Well, it's already prepared, but we just have to have it. Um, this is a kasha. I'm not really sure what kasha that is. But we're gonna have to open that up. Um, I mean, step number one is to turn on the kettle. There's water in there. There's water in there. We'll just turn that bad boy on. That's gonna boil up some good water. We got a, already got the chocolate butter melted. Delicious. All you need to do is just apply it onto the bread. The milk is here. So I don't know. M my grandma said there's also gonna be some cottage cheese or some no, shit. She, there's not. Oh, there is. Right here. No, are, are we supposed to make that or? Uh, no, mom said she'll make it. Look, guys, don't think we're completely helpless. We just don't know what we're doing. <laughs> You're making it sound like we're seven. I mean, there's a lot of shit in there, but uh, I don't know what to eat. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'll take out some sausage and some some uh, butter. I need to cut up some sausage. There's not enough in there. Let's take the cheese out. Cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese. Sausage. Oh wait, that's not that's not a cut sausage. This is a cut sausage. Perfect, mate. All right. Now that's more like it. Our table is looking just a bit more ready. We were literally left alone for like an hour, and we already managed to spill coffee all over the table. How does that happen? Um, it happens with us, apparently. I was telling a very emotional story. <laughs> yeah, knock it over with an elbow. It's okay. I did that before with, in a restaurant. Just smacked, it, smacked the glass with my elbow. Same thing happened here. I just had to surprise us. It's made the... Amazing! Anybody ever try homemade blinchiki? Mm. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> homemade dinchiki with homemade tea with chocolate butter and vodka. Chocolate butter? So you can take a blinchik, apply, apply some chocolate. <laughs> I may not be such a genius after all. It's okay. What a genius. It's alright. You wrap this bad boy up. I'll put too little, but it's delicious. Mm. <laughs> the books are packed and ready to go. We're going to drop them off at the school, the, at the library. Local Samaritans being good community members, donating books to the library. <laughs> and these very Russian bags. Hey guys, just got back from the library. Now, funny story. One time, my grandma came into the school to buy some pastries because she's she was buying pastries there for like a long time. I'm guessing. And uh, one time she came in and they didn't let her in because they thought she was a terrorist. I don't know how they would think that like an like a really old you know small lady is like a terrorist, but 
I mean, if that's what they think, that's, I mean, it's for the safety of the kids, right? So, I mean, here here we are with, like, big bags of, of books, and we thought, like, we're going to get, uh, you know, taken as terrorists, but now they let us in, they didn't even check our bags, so it's kind of, like, a weird, you know, like, when we come in with big bags, and they don't think we're terrorists, but, uh, like, a, a lady comes in to buy pastries, they think she's a terrorist. I don't know what's going on. This isn't Pakistan. It's like they're terrorists bombing this place up. No, or not Pakistan, Iraq or uh, Syria. But anyways, um, we just got back. I'm going to take a shower. We're going to have some mante. And then I think like towards maybe, I don't know. I think right now it's like 2 o'clock, maybe 12 o'clock. I mean, I think maybe towards 2 o'clock we're going to go to the city. It's just because gone. We're going to meet up with my mom's friend again. And we're going to um, have... The, like I said, one of the most traditional foods in Kazakhstan, which is called uh, birsparmak. I'll show you guys what, what that's all about and how it's made. And I'll see you guys in a bit. No matter how much I eat these, I will never get tired of mante. Oh my, look at that. Can't wait. And we're off. Let's go eat some delicious food and just cause gun. My entire face is raw. It's like red and chapped. Feels like ass. But hopefully everything will be okay. We have arrived in this big ass house. Time to eat some delicious food. Yeah. Look at this view. <laughs> you got this gravel driveway, but then there's the Ferris wheel, and then over to the right is like a lake or something. I'm not really sure. Pretty cool. Beast. What are you doing, bro? God damn. I can't, I can't catch a break from these stupid cats. I swear to God, I will die to cats. No worries, I took my allergy pills. I should be good. What's up, buddy? No, the cat seems to like my shoes or something. What? What are you doing here? Bro? There's two cats here. I'm gonna die. I, I swear to God, guys. I'm gonna die. Stay away from me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> А потом Иринка это делала, я подсказала. Так, ну все, наверное, пока я вам этот. Так, пошли, пошли сюда. А тузды сделала? Сейчас я, подожди. И вот это. Что тузды, что тузды должны, подожди. О, как пахнет. Бешпарма. А то, вот там возьми мою вот этот сотовый телефон, на WhatsApp перешли девкам сейчас. А то все дразнили, дразнили меня фотографиями Лунды Флочек. А теперь я ее подразнила. Да, да, да. Она при когда приехала, вау, говорит. Это такое давно. Пеш пармак, мой друг. А как он так включает? Давайте я буду вот так. Смотри. И ты пошел. Жирное ты любишь? Угу. Так себе. Вот смотри. Нет, ты пробуй, это будет очень вкусное мясо. Так, вот эти беказы, только вот эту вот эту шкурку не есть. Есть натуральная, а это сейчас искусственное Хорошо. дело. Просто чтобы она не томилась, оно тебе должно быть. Ой, мой золотой вкус. Давай, мясо, приезжай ко мне почаще. Я тебе буду кормить каждый день. Вот это, кстати, тоже попробуйте. Интересно. Это просто помидоры с чесночком. Майонез, майонез надо, но с майонез натуральный. Попробуйте. Так, все, детки, пьем, и мне, конечно, сам осветик. Ну что, нехоть заехали в гости. Красота, да. господи. О, господи. Дай бог, чтобы вы вот так в 50 лет со своими друзьями детства квасились. Да, Лорик, не говори сядь. Ой, вот, вот это вот вообще. Хорошая? 
Ну это вот как ты знаешь, я тебе честно скажу, три года на мне стоит. Во. Но она не должна же пропасть, не должна не самое, что ей там срок года. Mm -hmm. Но это еще тех времен, когда, знаешь, она вот этот э, фигню не делали. It's view. It's so beautiful. You can see the lake over there. Of course, these cats, even though I took my pills, I'm... Uh, my nose started starting up, but whatever. Potato. Stop, man! Anyways, we're on our way back. We had a good time, ate some good food. Now we're just hopefully get home safe. Everything will be all right, and then I'll see you guys home. Whew, we finally got back. Time to just relax, watch some TV shows, drink some tea. Now, apparently, this is from unconfirmed sources. Um, tomorrow, they are planning. Well, the people of uh, I'm not sure if this whole Kazakhstan or or just the people of like this area um apparently they're planning on some sort of uh some sort of like strike or something not really sure what's what what the strike is about or maybe it's like some sort of revolution i don't really know to be honest but um apparently they found weapons in uh, a town the town that we've been going into to buy stuff like called Nikolsky or Satpaev. Apparently, they found weapons. Again, that's not that's not from um, from confirmed sources. It's just that's what that's what we hear. Uh, I don't think we've seen a, a news article about it. Who knows? But all of this is just kind of starting to sound pretty scary because it's like, well, we're leaving on Tuesday to go to Al Almaty, and we got like four days or five days, no, four days in Almaty. And then we're gonna go home. So if this whole, if if like a, a full blown revolution starts happening uh, in the time that we're here, and then we're gonna go to Almaty, what if we're not gonna be able to leave this country, right? Uh, that's probably not gonna happen. Obviously, I mean we're Canadian citizens. Uh, Canada will not leave us behind. If anything, uh, there's there's a Canadian embassy, like a represent representative, in uh, in Almaty. And then, if anything, we'll just go to, to the actual embassy in, in Astana, which is the capital city of Kazakhstan. Uh, so, I mean, if, if, an, if an actual revolution happens, then we'll probably be safe there in, in Canadian embassy. But well, that, this is all just like in case of like the, like the most, like, that, that's basically like the end of the world thinking. Like, you know, planning for the apocalypse type thing. Uh, but no. Probably the only thing that's gonna happen is just there's gonna be some some sort of people with signs and shit protesting about the government. I'm not really sure. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's life. It's just too bad here. I mean, the government's pretty good. They seem to like the president. So I'm not sure what what's really happening. So I mean, we'll find out tomorrow if this whole thing even happens or not. If it does, then I'll I'll, I'll be sure to document it and I'll I'll let you guys I'll fill you guys on the details. But for now, we're just gonna kind of have to keep on. On a lookout for the news and shit, and see what's happening, and talk to the people, see what they think about it. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll be okay, and we'll be, we'll get home safe. Everything be all right. My entire family like low key passed out, and I'll be oddball out, still rendering my vlog. Well, I'm gonna head to bed too. Go brush my teeth, drink some water, go to sleep. And I'll see you guys in the morning tomorrow. Um, I think we have a little bit of. Uh, um, something planned where uh, some of our family members are going to get together at the house that you guys saw yesterday. Um, we're going to have some homemade shashlik, homemade uh, good stuff, homemade food. It's going to be delicious, and I'll see you guys there. Good night, guys. Peace.